Well, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the barn. Um, I was tagged in a getting to know you challenge by the Arkansas Woodcutter. Um, if you've not seen his videos, you ought to go check them out. Um, and he tagged me in a getting to know you video. Um, my channel is really, really uh, young here. I have very few followers, so I really appreciate him doing that. Um, and so I'm going to try to answer the questions the best I can. I don't know if I'm the most interesting subject, but I will do my best. And I'm going to post this as a bonus video this week um, on Tuesday, I believe. Uh, I've just got quite a bit going on around the garden. I sort of already had my videos planned, but I did want to respond to his challenge. So this will hope to be a fourth video this week on Tuesday. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into the questions. I got them wrote down here on a piece of paper so I can remember them. Um, one, number one, my name. Uh, my first name is Michael. My middle name is Alan. Um, I was named by my parents. Uh, Michael, I think, was just a name that my, my parents liked. Alan is a family name, and so um, I have an uncle named that, and so that's that's where that come from. Uh, number two, siblings. I have one sister. She's three years younger than me. Uh, she still lives in our hometown, and so um, and uh, has a young family back there. Uh, number three, cousins. How close was I to my cousins? Um, I've got a very small family. I actually only have uh, two other first cousins. Um, we were close. They are quite a bit younger than me. So, and they also lived away. So they would come in on summers and on, you know, during holidays and vacations and things, sometimes on the weekends, I'd see them then. Uh, my sister was a little bit closer to my first cousins than I was just because they were closer in age. But we were close and we, you know, we played, you know, when we were younger together, pretty good. But I, I didn't have a big group of cousins to, um, that I was with a lot. Uh, grandparents, yes, absolutely. Um, I grew up in the, my hometown, my my grandparents um, were just right down the road. Um, my mother's parents were uh, a mile away. Uh, my dad's were maybe 10 minutes away. Um, we ate Sunday uh, lunch with my dad's parents every Sunday um, after church. Um, and I was always around them. We'd see them throughout the week. Uh, doing activities and going fishing with them. My grandmother loved to fish. And so, yes, I was very close. Um, my mother's parents, uh, my grandfather was a huge influence. Um, her dad was a huge influence on my life. Um, and a lot that I do, gardening, uh, hunting, fishing, you name it, um, did with him also. Um, so, yes, both sets of grandparents, we were very, very close. Um, number five, high school. I, I guess I liked high school. It was good. I had a good group of fr friends. I learned a lot, um, especially later in my high school career, um, involved in uh, FFA and particularly uh, forestry competitions where I learned about tree identification, tree measurement, equipment, diseases, wood types, all that type of stuff. Learned that and that led me into my career. So I'm very thankful for that experience. Also just learned basics of gardening and um you know, with a greenhouse, we did. We had a greenhouse there at my high school, uh, welding, um, all different types of things there. And then just, you know, math and science and all that um, had really great teachers. And it took me a while, but now um, I'm seeing the value in that education. Uh, hobbies. So, um, of course, my garden. Um, gardening has always been a big hobby of mine. Um, I grew up gardening with my grandparents, my parents. Um, and now I'm continuing that on. Um, I, I enjoy hunting and fishing a little bit. I don't go as much as I used to, um, but I do enjoy that. Another hobby of mine that most don't know is um, I, I enjoy photography. Um, I've got a, a pretty decent DSLR camera and zoom camera, a zoom lens with that. And uh, I love, especially wildlife photography, when I can, um, I get out and try to take some pictures and um, if you go and check out my Instagram, you can see a few pictures I've got out there, not many, but I, there's a few on my Instagram that I, that I post. I don't go take pictures as much as I used to, uh, but I do, do enjoy it. If I could only pick two hobbies, it would be gardening and it would be photography. So if I couldn't fish anymore, if I couldn't hunt anymore, I, I would hate it, but those two I really, really enjoy doing. Um, what do I do to relieve stress? Um, I enjoy coming out here to the barn. I enjoy being out in the yard and in the garden. Um, it used to be fishing, um, that, that's sort of a bonus for me now if I get to go fishing, um, 
Uh, it's just, it just is. But it, to come out here and sit in the barn and look out of my gardens right here, if I look out over the garden or get out there and work in the garden like I did yesterday, that's just a, a perfect day for me. Um, uh, closest friends, I, you know, I grew up in high school with some really good friends, and I still, we, we touch base every once in a while. I'm not as close with those guys now. Um, then college, um, my college roommate, we we message each other all the time. Uh, we're, we're constantly doing that, and so um, he's probably my closest friend um, that I have currently. Well, I've got good friends here in town that I also visit with, um, but uh, that would be my closest friend. Movies. I have thought about this. I don't know anymore. Um, used to is Tombstone. I love Tombstone, the movie. I just don't watch many movies now. Um, most of the time, my TV is taken by my two young kids, so um, I don't watch very much uh, movies anymore. Um, book. Uh, so, other than the Bible, um, would be The Traveler's Gift by Andy Andrews. Um, if you've never read it, I highly recommend it. It is just a really good book. Um, it's got a lot of good themes in it, a good uh, sort of motivational book, uh, a lot of lessons to learn from it. So I highly recommend that book. Um, Stormy Day. Oh, normally, if at all possible, uh, here lately, we come out here to the barn if we can. Um, if, nope, there went my list. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the wind blew my list away. Um, so, stormy day, yeah, we come out here to the barn if we can. If not, we're stuck in the house and, you know, we'll watch TV, play a game, maybe work a puzzle, that type of thing. Uh, perfect weather. It is absolutely my favorite thing to do right now is to be out here in this yard, in this garden, working around the barn, doing projects like that. That's that's what I've been doing a lot of, and and this quarantine has really allowed me to have more more time to do that type of thing. Um, big city or small city? Absolutely a small city. I live in a small town now. I am thankful to be in this small town. Um, where I can go uptown, I was just uptown, stopped at the gas station and, you know, saw people I knew and, and got to visit across the parking lot with them. Um, I, you know, there's, cons there's concern about the virus here. There are a few cases. I think um, total positives for our county is 13 or 14 right now. Um, I think active cases around seven or eight. So it's, you know, I'm I'm thankful because of that, but I'm also just thankful for the small town atmosphere. I, I love small town. Uh, I have no desire to live in a big city. Um, first thing after this is over, absolutely go to church. I uh, miss our church family. We're involved with um, a great uh, church here um, in town uh, with some um, with a lot of just good people that we're close with or friends. And so I'm really missing going to church and seeing everybody. Um, it, it's going to be an amazing day for me when I go back and I uh, get to be with everybody. Um, you know, like I said, I see people around town from church and we'll visit, you know, across the parking lot or whatever, but I'm ready to go back to church. I'm ready to be in the sanctuary worshiping with everybody. Um, I'm just ready. We, we've been doing the YouTube church thing and that's working. It's fine, but I'm ready to be back there in church. All right. Well, that is all of my questions, um, that I had. I'm going to think on who to challenge this with. Like I said, I've got a small channel, um, not any, not very many subscribers. So, um, I will, I'll think of a shout out, maybe one or two that I can do. But, um, for the most part, the channels that I've watched have already done this. And so, um, and I, like I said, I, I've only got a few folks right now subscribing. So I'm still young, but I do appreciate the Arkansas Woodcutter for challenging me with this. And um, I, I appreciate you guys watching this and learning a little bit about me. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Hey there. I, um, I forgot to come back and <clears throat> do a tag. So um, I'm gonna tag Legacy Home and Garden. She stopped by my channel the other day and left me some really, really nice comments on several videos. So I appreciate that. And I don't know if she's been tagged yet or not, but I would appreciate it if uh, you'd share also. So y'all take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.